this time we'll speak how we can restore our system. It's very easy to just type uh, sudo apt remove, uh, let's say Python. Um, this will remove uh, a lot of uh, packages from your system and afterwards it will make it unstable. The same can happen if you remove uh, a LibreOffice, but if you use the wildcard earlier on, so you'll not type the whole LibreOffice, but this will affect again a lot of uh, packages which are from the system and uh, afterwards uh, your system again will be unstable. Also when installing kernel it might happen that uh, you've erased all the previous versions of kernels and this one is a faulty one so again your system might uh, become unusable. Um, so the first uh, thing in those cases I advise you uh, to get um, a live uh, USB or CD with your distribution. When we boot with this CD, uh, the first thing is uh, to understand which partition is our original uh, hard drive residing on. And here is uh, dev sd 2 You can get this information from iOS BLK uh, command. And then we'll mount uh, the partition into a directory MNT. Also, we would like to bind mount run udev, dev, proc and uh, sys directories. Uh, we are doing this because we would like to use uh, the current uh, virtual file system devices in uh, the later system uh, that we are preparing uh, to change our uh, root partition to be read from. We will use uh, change root in order to enter into the uh, mounted uh, directory. Also we can uh, uh, mount devpts into uh, our devices afterwards. All right, so uh, right now we will be directly inside of our hard drive, although we are booting from external device. So when we are in the hard drive, we will try first to update our repositories and to upgrade the system. If uh, we encounter certain problems, I advise you just to use uh, force or write option in the day package and having the name of the package in question just to specify it uh, to be installed directly from Varkesh apt archives. This process might take you some time and afterwards again a repeat uh, apt update and apt dist upgrade until finished and this will ensure also that uh, apt package manager is in a good state. And the last thing we would like to do is to uh, install for example uh, here the desktop uh, client uh, system, so I'm installing Ubuntu desktop and uh, that's how you can restore your system. Uh, next we are continuing into the restoration of a uh, faulty functioning kernel. So the first step I uh, would like to do after uh, booting from the external uh, drive is to stop the updates of the group. So just uh, rename this file uh, with another extension. Now we can see the uh, current uh, versions of our kernel. I can uh, type those commands even here in the command prompt. Uh, here is the kernel is uh, 590RC8 and uh, we can uh, uh, list uh, all the Linux images uh, which are uh, here on this system and as you can see we have uh, uh, different flags in front of each of the uh, package. II means installed. At this point we would like to ensure that uh, we have uh, installed at least one uh, kernel which is functioning. If you don't have such, uh, try to remove all the listed here packages and uh, then um, download and install one uh, from internet which you know that it will function correctly. For the installation of uh, uh, those kernels probably you need Linux headers generic and Linux image generic packages so you can install them and uh, when uh, ready it's time to restore the configuration which will update the group and to run update group and exit from our uh, ch root environment and you should be ready now to restart uh, the system and to boot up your restored uh, kernel. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I hope this information uh, will help you to restore uh, your system and if you liked the content 
you can subscribe to the channel.